are you so far? Good, thank you. Really good. 2022 was indeed a challenging year. What was the greatest challenge for last year's MotoGP? The greatest challenge was um, to deal with uh, with bad results and and keep keep the the same energy and keep the same uh, uh, work ethic and uh, the same belief. And finally, I would say that we managed to do so, and we managed to to finally, you know, uh, believe that. This this uh, feeling with the with the bike would uh, would would happen and the, this click would happen and finally in the last two races it really felt like a, it really looked like a click but you know something 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 different uh, happened uh, on the bike and uh, that was good to feel and was was good to to experience testing for for this year how's the bike so far. So we were we were uh, very pleased with the with the top speed of the bike. We were very pleased with that. We were very happy with the with the race pace. We we tried many many items. We we back to back many many different things on on the bike, and uh, we went through a lot of stuff with the, with the team, and um, we tried to collect. The, the best information we could with the best accuracy we could. I think we did a great job. Unfortunately, that um, took away some, some energy and some, uh, some performance on, on the time attack. So finally, uh, we finished not uh, where we wanted uh, in the chart at the end of the test. But there's still, um, I, I, we, I believe that we collected very interesting and, and accurate data and uh, I believe that the team can, can solve and can put everything together for the next tests and for the, the start of the season. Speaking of challenges again, what do you think would be the greatest challenges that's going to happen for 2023? You mean for me or? Yeah, for you. Yeah, for me it will be really important to, to bounce back to get back to to do good results and uh, podiums and uh, winning races that would be really nice uh, to experience so we we've we've done uh, we've done a, a good job this this winter in uh, in in physical conditioning and um, i think i'm in a, in a good place mentally as well um, I, I I have a lot of of, of revenge energy, revenge, and that's yeah. that's uh, that's uh, that's a good energy. So let's see let's see how the season starts, and then let's see how the season develops. As I said, I have a lot of uh, air, a lot of uh, I have a lot of um, energy uh, in myself. So I don't know if it's that's going to be. Uh, an advantage on, on, on my opponents or not, but I do feel that um, I, have, I have a great, great will. So let's see. All right. Franco, thank you. Maybe you have some few messages for your fans here in the Philippines. Hello to all Filipino fans. Um, keep following MotoGP, keep following us. Uh, we, we will have a lot of fun this year. Thank you. All right. Good luck. Good luck for this year. Thank you. Thank you so much. Fabio, how are you? Good, thank you. And you? I'm good, thank you. First of all, I'd like to congratulate you on a very nice finish last year. But in spite of uh, second place overall, what was the greatest challenge MotoGP Racing Season 2022 for you? Was to start the year with already a bike that I knew that was going to be, uh, was going to be tough, was going to be uh, di difficult. But uh, I've learned a lot from 2022 season and hopefully in 2023 we can uh, fight again for, for the title. Uh, testing so far for 2023? Do you like the bike so far? So there is some positive and there is some, I will not say negative, but <laughs> parts that we need to work on and have much more uh, time to, to adapt ourselves. But I will not say that at the moment there is a lot of negative. 
expectation uh, challenges for 2023? Answer will be short, it's fighting for the championship. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure everyone will be looking at you because you, know, you were very tough in 2022. So, uh, Fabio, what is the, um, uh, the greatest threat, do you think, for 2023 for you? I'm a hard worker, so I think uh, it's my, my strength. Uh, I never give up. I train so hard to, to achieve my goals. And I think that the biggest strength I have is, is that, my mentality. Uh, for all of the young racers out there who wanted to uh, be a racer, what can you uh, give them advice? My advice is uh, to have fun, uh, to have fun, to believe in themselves uh, and dream about their dreams that actually they can, they can be true. Dreams can come true. Exactly. Okay, Fabio, you might want to uh, say a word to your uh, Filipino fans. Yes. Hope you are, you are good, guys. Uh, unfortunately, I could not meet uh, a lot really the country, the people, but hopefully I can, I can join uh, later uh, this year or in, in the future uh, Philippines and, and meet more of the, of the country and the people. Ta-ciao. Thank you so much. Fabio, thank you so much. Thank you very thank much. You,